Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of the new mission that dropped after the Vow of the Disciple raid was beaten in the mission. It's called Preservation. It is a pinnacle mission. And this is the setup I'm going to be using. This is so that you can see what I used. It's a multi you can use anything you want in here, really. Uh, I'm taking advantage of the Time Loss Fate Bringers Osmosis so that I can get uh, volatile rounds. You guys can run whatever you like. I'm using Glaive and Galahorn. But the main point of this video, because I think most people will be able to run through this, I'm just going to show you, explain a little bit about the mechanics, maybe give you some hints and tips about how to beat certain areas. But there are ten, five of them are quite obvious, but there are five other secret lore entries to be got from this mission. And if you get all ten, you get this, which is the Raid Ghost. This is how you get it. So I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to get it. There's a couple of puzzle elements in here which I'm going to be showing you how to decipher the puzzles. And there you go, the Vow of the Disciple lore book unlocks, 10 out of 10. So, very cool. I'll be doing the last lore entry for the puzzle in this. I'll show you where the other five are as well and telling you how to get them all. Uh, this mission is pretty cool. It's there's there's You don't have to copy this loadout exactly. This is just a template. For what I used. So when you first come in, you're going to be greeted with this kind of uh, projection. Uh, now, there is a way to use Galahorn. You see, I'm not spamming the rockets. I've noticed something, and you'll see here, you can try it for yourself. If you fire the galley, and then you fire straight away before Wolfpack has really activated on the first set, it's like you lose a set of Wolfpack rounds. So it's worthwhile firing the Galahorn and letting the wolf pack activate before you fire another rocket. Once you've took out the projection of Savathun, you're going to spiral through this section uh, and you just follow the route I'm taking. And then you're going to come to the little craft that kind of looks like the new public event. And basically the idea is it will take you from from uh, location to location you'll get a whole bunch of ads if you don't take out one of the ads one specific one of the ads really quickly you'll start getting getting uh, uh, darkness and it's this guy take out the ogre immediately and you will not get any darkness and once you take the ogre out you're gonna get these uh, if you like the kind of uh, crystals on the ground but you get uh you you get a, a thing on them it's, it's it's learning so there's there's three you can pick up three at a time and i can't remember what they're actually called what you get so a brimming knowledge and when you get over i think it's overflowing that's what you get when you pick up three of them so there you go you pick up three you can only pick up three at a time and then come back and as long as you're in the aura for the for the vehicle uh, so you get heightened, brimming, and overflowing. You can't pick up any more once you've got overflowing. Just come back to the aura and deposit them. There are nine in each area. So three sets of three. And and then w once you get back to the ship, the ship's going to start moving again. Then you're going to get another wave of ads, which the main ad in it is a, is a, a Scorn a Solar Shielded Chieftain. You get some Explorers. You get some, you know, just... To, Maybe about 10, 10 uh, scorn ads, but uh, the the main the main point is uh, take out the sol the, the solar shielded chieftain and then kill the rest with just normal weapon whatever it is you're using. I always get off my sparrow here because just to take those snipers. There's your 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 shielded your shielded. Uh, yeah, solar shielded chieftain took him out, and then I'm back on to back on to the ve the vehicle. Probably gonna want that heavy ammo, so I'm gonna go back, and then we want to take out straight away. We want to take out the abomination. You see, and there we go. As soon as the abomination's down, the little crystals will appear. I I'm taking advantage of volatile rounds, as you can see there, and it just allows for my weapon just to. Can I do a, a bit of ag clear? I would suggest using a void weapon. The glaive is really, really... I, I like the glaive uh, simply because it's it's as good with ammo as it is without. 
you know, and having having a special weapon that can still keep up its efficiency without ammunition. You know, I know that they've took away uh, at the moment they've disabled uh, the glaive, the suppressing glaive, and I, I really enjoyed using it on on the Titan. The, you know, not just the Hunter. I, I wasn't just running it from Invis. I really enjoyed using it, but to be fair. The glaive does that much damage within its kind of uh, range. You don't need to really suppress the enemy because you, you'll kill the enemy. <laughs> so you don't really need to worry about suppressing. So as you can see there, heightened brimming and then overflowing. Once I get overflowing, I come back to to uh, to the vehicle. And it's, it's rinse and repeat up until... You do this about four or five times. It's rinse and repeat. Uh, make sure you take out the solar shielded scorn chieftain there's three stock there's three exploders as well uh you've got to be careful of them you can see me aiming for them straight away uh three three yellow bus grebes and then once you get in here you're gonna have your chieftain take out the chieftain now obviously you can see i'm going through a fair amount of heavy these areas here before you get before you actually get to the area where the vehicle is going to stop and you're going to get the abomination, you actually do get a fair a fair amount of heavy. So I never found myself in a situation where I wasn't dropping heavy. Make sure, as always, you've got the right ammo finders on. You know, just make it easy for yourself. There's no need to make it any more difficult than it needs to be. And uh, with the greatest respect to anybody that's had trouble with this, if, if you attack these enemies quickly, I had a bit of a problem with these guys, I remember that, because every time I shot them, see that? I I don't think that should happen. <laughs> I don't think the ads should be able to run away that quickly. I've always had a problem with, va you know, it was va it's vandals, it's, the, it's the, the, the vandal thing. You shoot them once and they just hit the ground and take off at a rate of knots. You cannot catch them, you know. I always used to find it funny how ads can backpedal faster than I could sprint with eight mobility. Just ridiculous. Calf muscles on these boys must be crazy. So, again, rinse and repeat. Get your overflowing knowledge three at a time. There's nine in each area. I try and... It doesn't always work, but uh, I, I try and do it section after section so that, you know, I'm not having to run left to right, left to right to get... To get them you just want to make this as quick as possible i think i think it took me just over 20 minutes 22 23 minutes to do the actual mission if i hadn't have been getting the lore it would have been quicker so it's about 20 minute mission maybe again once it moves again you're looking for the screebs screebs man you're looking for those screebs watch out there'll be a sniper always a sniper at this area if you've got a bit more of a ranged weapon than 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 i've got uh I mean, it wasn't wasn't a problem for me, but if you've got a, 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 a scout rifle, pulse rifle, whatever the case might be, uh, and you possibly won't have, you definitely won't have a problem with that that uh, that sniper. There we go. Take out take out the boy. I'm going back here because there's a brick. Thank you, sir. And then again, it's the, the same routine every time. Throw a you know, take out the ogre. Make sure I'm switched switch to my, the weapon I've got with, uh, with osmosis on. Throw a grenade to make it void and get the volatile rounds because I've got Alden Ordnance and I've got volatile flow, Alden Ordnance basically. Throw a grenade and you get uh, a void well, elemental well. And if you've got... You guys probably know this. I, f I feel like I'm just kind of... Re repeating myself because this is a very repeatable repeatable uh, section but volatile rounds basically you pick up the elemental will and you get volatile rounds basically attaches void detonators to every ad you shoot at I'm actually going to test how good that will be against a boss using something like the threaded needle or you know a void heavy because I feel like that, that could be you know really good DPS I've also got a uh, bomber, double bomber on my, my cloak, so when I dodge, I get 
if, if you see me dodging randomly, it's not because I've all of a sudden been aff afflicted with the tight with the hunter, the hunter condition where I've got to dodge every 30 seconds for no reason. Just it's it's just intrinsic. It's because I'm using my dodge to get some grenade energy back, so that I get my dodge back when I need it. Some screebs. Sometimes with the screebs, it's better off uh, just running past them and and uh, letting them explode. There we go. You see, we got bomber. Throw the grenade. Get my elemental well. I actually cleared up quite a few ads doing that. Screeb might still be on the loose. There he is. So I just kind of baited him backwards. There's another one. Um, I, I, you don't have to do this. But I like to clear all the areas out first before I start collecting any of the, the crystals. So we'll go left over here. As I say, there's nine in each area. Collect them. Get your your uh, overflowing knowledge. If you've got overflowing knowledge, it doesn't matter if you run through any more of the crystals. You won't pick any up once you've once you've got overflowing. Move over to this area. Now I might have I've done that correctly. There are three on that side. I, as I say, I just like to be efficient with collecting them. I, I like to I like to make sure that you know. Oh, the last three I've got to collect, when at all possible, are in the same area. Sometimes if you're moving about, killing enemies and what have you, you'll accidentally pick one up anyway. So this next section I think is the last section in this and then we're going to enter the pyramid. I think what this is, and having not seen anything about it or watched anything, I think what this is, is like a soft introduction to the raid. You know, so you start learning the, the mechanics a little bit sooner. Uh, there's a couple of there's a couple of snipers on this side, and there we go. This is the last section, I believe. I could be wrong. That the ogre will spawn behind there. The, the ogre always spawns in the same place. Just just get the, you know we'll get that sorted because to get the lore. And I'll, I'll say this again once we get there, because I am going to do, uh, I am going to put timestamps so people want to go straight to the lore, they, they can, they don't have to watch the full run to get the lore. Uh, you have to do this a number of times to get to get the, the, the ghost shell, to get the first piece, pieces of lore. Now I think they were originally meant to be got over the space of a couple of weeks, but if you rerun it, so if you do this section and then restart it once you've done the first puzzle, you get different puzzles each time. You get five, and then on the fifth one, once you've done the fifth puzzle, you can finish it, get the five pieces of lore at the end. Ghost Shell is yours, Lore Book is yours, Triumph is yours. But uh, I think it might have, it might have, originally been the case that you had to do it over the over the course of a couple of weeks up you know but we all know what we're like find out there's something new we'll farm it more than we need to just to make sure we have it so that's i think that's the last the last of the ogres uh we'll have one more set of set of ads i'm not going to break use a ton of heavy I want to keep my heavy for the boss the boss section and then this little vehicle is going to go in into this little room and it's going to open up the doorway and then we're in the pyramid now the pyramid is much the same as the story mission the pyramid seems to open up and invite us in and this is a massive drop I I definitely had a moment when I dropped down where I was like whoa <laughs> jeez so we're heading towards where you would get the lore. And again, I'm going to show you the key to deciphering the code. It's very simple. Very simple. So drop down this massive, massive uh, drop. Goes without saying, make sure you boost to save yourself. Because if you don't, you're going to become a pancake. 
So head up, head up through the room. You're going to come out of the, and, and, and you're going to see a massive kind of crevasse, a massive, looks like, looks like a cave. It's not a cave. It's the, obviously we're on the inside of the, the pyramid, but it's a massive open area with what I think is the Leviathan from the deep, the ones that Savathun and that big kind of, the thing that's in the thumbnail. I think that's going to be my thumbnail. This, this is where you get your lore. This is the first set of lore that you can get in this mission. There are five pieces to get, but you have to restart the activity to get them each time. So you jump through that opening and there is your key. This is your key to solving the, the puzzle. You go from right to left. The top section, you see that the symbols at the top are all the same. They are guardian. And then there are three symbols. So you go guardian, something, something. So... That one there is Kill. The next one is Commune. And the next one is Enter. So what they mean is, when it says Guardian, so that the top one, it's all the same. You can see right, right along the top, it's all the same. They are Guardian. And then it'll be Guardian, Kill, and then the bottom symbol. The next one will be Guardian, Commune, with the bottom symbol. And it'll be Guardian, Enter the bottom symbol the best thing i what i done was i took a picture on my phone and and then i followed it so you go from the right it, it goes uh top to bottom right to left so the first set we had was guardian kill and it was this so when it's kill you shoot and then it does that when it's commune commune We'll find the, the, the one that we need to commune with. These You've got to find the corresponding symbols at the bottom. So it'll be Guardian, and then the action, and then what you need to do. So you see, that is commune. You, you go in and you, you go up to it and you activate it to com commune with it. Enter is melee. So you can see I got rid of my smoke, and this was the third symbol. So if you go back in the video, have a look. You see there, I got the lore book. This was the last one I needed. If you go and have a look at the symbols, you'll see the top one from right to left is Guardian. Then it's the action that you need to perform. And then it's the symbol you need to perform it to. The action will, will always either be Kill, Commune, or Enter. Kill is Shoot, Commune is Activate, and Enter is Melee. And then the bottom one, the, the, the bottom symbol will be the symbol that you have to do that to. So you've got to find that symbol and either shoot it, commune, uh, uh, activate it, or melee it, depending on what it asks you to do. You have to do that five times. So once you get to that point, if you just want the raid uh, ghost, once you get to that point and you do the first puzzle, restart the activity and come back, the, the symbols that you're going to have to do will be different the next time that five times and that's your five lore entries from there the other five lore entries are in this room so basically we're going to clear all of these ads and then there are two rooms with ogres that we've got to clear and then there'll be a third room when we go in there there'll be uh chieftain chieftain uh scorn uh chieftain elite chieftains bosses basically and we've got to kill all three of them it's not too bad. Now, if you're running Hunter, basically your super should, if you've got Office, Office rigs on, your super should kill one of them. And if you've got uh, whatever you're using for your heavy, you see there. Now, I'm not suppressing any of these. Obviously, because suppressing glaive is often. You see... The, I've got melee kills, re restart, you know, uh, start health regeneration for you and your teammates. What that does is it counts the the glaive as a melee. So whenever I get a melee, I start health regeneration. Now if I'm getting hit, what it will do is it will just regenerate my health just enough to keep me alive. You know, so don't. It's this isn't like devour or anything like that. It's nothing crazy. So, again, I'm just going to take out some more ads. And then and then once, once I've done that, I'm going to find the next open room. 
Now at the end of this, once we've cleared it, I'm going to show you where the five lower entries are in this room. You'll get the first one straight away. But I'm pretty sure once a lot of people seen that lower entry, they'd have probably went, oh, because there's a ton of, ton of time afterwards. They probably would have went, oh, I wonder if there's anything else in here. And they'd probably have a little look. You might have found one, two, three. You might have found them all. I'm going to show you where they are. So you go down in this room. You see there we've got, got a bunch of the little boys. And I'll just jump past them. Clear out the ads in here. So we've got another one in here. Just take them out with the glaive. Well, I did anyway. There we've got another Screeb. Screeb love. Another Screeb. And there we go. That's them all in this room. Now we're going to head back up. And take out the ads that are up here. And then we're going to head over to... I think I think that's all the rooms. I think now we head to, to the, the boss section. And just having a look. Make sure there's no more red. Because at the when I'd done this, I wasn't sure if... Basically, I had to clear this whole room before before the, the bosses came out. Or before I had access to the bosses. So, I just I just was looking for a little bit of red on my map. Never seen any. So, now we're going to head over to the boss. Which is not down here. It's over to the left. Here we go. This room here takes us out into a big open area. And there are three Scorn Chieftains. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to manage the ads. I don't think you can clear these ads, you just have to manage them. So as soon as I've took out enough that I can safely start shooting at the boss. Or one of the bosses, should I say. Then I'm going to put some... Uh, Galahorn on one of the bosses. You see there's one there on his own. Walked over to see what was going on. So I'm just going to use my super. And I think I'm going to have to put a galley on as well. And there you go. There, there's one down. Without having to use too much super. Get the explosion there. Now, I use the, as I say, I use the Time Loss Weight Bringer. You do not have to use this weapon. If you've got it, then yeah, go for it. I like, I like a, a Explosive Payload, Firefly, if, I've got, if I haven't got, uh, ex if that weapon that I'm choosing to use does not roll with, with uh, Firefly, then, or Explosive Payload, sorry, then I'd go with Firefly. So we're just... I'm just I'm just looking looking to see what what, what ads are where. I actually was because I was getting hit there, relatively hard, so I wanted to see if it was a sniper I was getting hit by. Scorn stasis stasis itself still annoys me, but scorn stasis. Come on, Bungie, do you want to give me any more reason to dislike the scorn? Now, I've got enough heavy. Right now, I can't tell you why I decided to kill this boss with my primary. It worked. But I've got heavy. And there you go. There, there, there he is. I've got heavy. And there's more on the ground. I've got more than enough to kill this boss. Why did I go with a, a primary? Did I not think he deserved the majesty of the Galahorn? Maybe that's what it was. And there's even more heavy. So now I'm just going to glaive all of these ads. Just go through them. Come on now. As I would say to my kids, it's sleepy times now. Kill this last one here. And there you go. And that's that's all the ads killed. That's, that, is this, that is this area cleared out. 
Now what you're going to see is this is, that's the first lore entry. When you kill that boss and that, where we were, that is the first lore entry. There were four, there's five in total. There were four more in this area. And I'm going to show you where they all are, if I can remember exactly where they are. Now, there's, in the two rooms that we went and cleared, there is one in each of the rooms. Now, I'm not, don't quote me on this. I don't think they appear as the way that they're going to gonna look here. Uh, because you see, you get a little place marker when you get close to them. I don't think that will happen until you kill the bosses. And that's why you get, you see the seconds remaining. There's a lot more seconds remaining than that. But uh, I think that's why you get so many seconds because you can search this, this room for lore entries. So that's, the first one is when you kill the Scorn Chieftain, the last one. Then I came out, I went right into that room and that was the second one. This is the third one here. Now we're going to go to the next room. And... We're going to find the lore entry in the next room that we cleared. So I'm just going to take a shortcut through here. And you can see that open room over there. This open room here. Go in there and the, the fourth one is in here. And the fifth one is up near the the ex, the entry where we came into the room. And once you've collected all of these they've all got a bit of, they've all got a little bit of uh, audio so it's worth listening to it's i think it's rock's kind of love letter to the the witness so i love you you're amazing you've done me proud you know yada yada shut up you're, you're both you're both one of these one of these is dead the other one's gonna be dead soon and that that is the final law entry collect all of those i say with the puzzles you've got to do it five times so if you input the code and then restart it and then the code will be different each time do that five times not after you've done that five times complete the mission collect all of these and you'll have the raid ghost thank you very much for watching guys i hope this helps you get it take it easy and i'll see you in the next video